Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. There are tons of categories. Right below that, you'll find the day one lessons. If you scroll down, you'll see the just for fun section, my 10 favorite lessons, and then finally, the multi-project lessons. Today, friends, I want to talk to you about custom characters. I have tutorials that show you how to take the celebrating kid and the girl and customize them so you can add different clothes, outfits, faces, whatever you want. Friends, today I've got a technique for making a wicked cool crown. Let me show you how to do it. So first things first, you do need to complete one of these two. Note this is my project. I'll make sure there's a link. Of course, if you're out here, please take time to give it a reaction. And then I am going to choose make a duplicate because I don't want to wreck my originals. All right, everybody. So we've got all these fun characters and no hats. Remember, if you haven't completed the characters, there will be a link up above. We are going to build with the Wicked Cool Paraboloid. Bring it out and flip it over with the mirror tool. We want to cut off the bottom, so we're gonna bring out a whole cube. I'm gonna tell you to click on that whole box and make it 10 so it's half the way. And then I'm gonna quickly select both, press the letter L, and I wanna line them up middle and middle. I always like to remind you that if you look from a corner, these are a lot easier to spot. I am going to group those two, and then when it groups, I'm gonna press D to drop. We want to cut out the second area, so I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to lift the second one up. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to switch my nudge to 0.25. Let's hold down Shift, and instead of 10, I want you to make it 9 and press Enter. Then I'm going to stretch it up so it's plenty high. Hit the letter D, and when you group those two, we will have the start of our crown. Friends, I'm going to bring out that exact same shape, the paraboloid. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it. I'm going to tell you the number I want is 8, and I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to stretch it nice and tall. I'm going to go 22. I'm going to make it a hole, and then I'm going to flip it. I am going to select those two, press L for a line, and I'm going to set it right to the middle. That's the only one I care about at this time. I am going to click on it and nudge it out so it's only partially cutting through. I'm going to do control D and do shift nudge to move to the other side, getting it close to the same, but then I'm going to select the two of them, choose group, shift click on the crown, do a line, and now I can choose the middle. Once again, I always like to pick those from the side so it's easier to tell which is which. Now friends, I'm going to hold down shift and shrink these together so they cut in a little bit more. So I'm cutting on both sides and then I'm going to do control D. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to carefully rotate this one chunk. Then I'm going to let go and without touching anything else, do control D again and again. Friends, at this point, you can select everything, press control G and bingo you will have an instant crown. I'm gonna pick a color I want. I'm going to custom colors, getting out here in the yellows. Let's see if we can make that some sort of fancy gold. But friends, that's how fast you can make your very own crown. One other cool thing is if you're careful, you can edit it. Just grab the top pieces and watch this. If you nudge them all down and click somewhere else, boom you have instantly got another variation. You could add little balls on the top, you could put jewels in it, you can have a total blast, making your crown unbelievably epic. Right now, I'm gonna put the crown on this little fella. Let's do a line. I'm gonna click on the head. I want center, center, and I'm gonna choose top. And then when I raise it up, I'm gonna do control up. And then I'm going to shift squeeze to get it to the right size. F to zoom in, my little dude has got a crown. How fun is that? So friends, remember when you're done, if you wanna show off what you've done, it is so easy. Simply click on your design and change the properties. Make sure you have a title, a description, give it some fun tags, including if you wanna share it with me, type HLMT23 and press enter and boom, I will automatically see those when I search that tag each day. 
at the bottom you do need to set it to public and then also I always choose attribution no derivatives because I have got the tutorials I'd love to see you follow so you gain some skills one final reminder friends please check out the shoutouts of Mrs. Ross Davis classroom oh my gosh the characters those kids created are absolutely epic and of course if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day